At least I hope he cared, because fuck. <laughs> There's that stupid face again. Ah! Uh, so you start a conversation? Sorry, I call it like I see it. I suppose I'm getting used to it, though. Make sure to stay alive so I can always see your stupid face. How did she then become way more of an ass in this playthrough? Fuck off. <laughs> who the hell, who the hell on Reddit, whoever, whoever you are, that drew she then and said, I drew my favorite character in Scarlet Nexus, everyone. Look, you're messed up. It's not what I wanted, but I'm beginning to see how to handle you. Uh, is that something I should be happy about? Here, have a glasses collection, you entitled piece of shit. I hate this character. Barry, look at this lady. I don't know if you've seen this lady. Watch her exercise. It's funny. She's me. <laughs> this is... That's a mood right there. I want to watch her do it again. <laughs> uh, here, have a bundle of old books. Maybe that's a metaphor for you, Mr. Sheedin. Organization management for beginners. How about how to not be a fuck? For assholes. This might be a total, like, gift session. Sorry, gift. Wow, I'm so happy. Wow, I'm so happy. She's a crush on the character. Um, Maybe I'll talk to Archie for a change. No. Not yet. We're looking at our girlfriend. talk to you about uh oh did something happen you look serious i got a message from my uncle do you mean the osf hospital's chairman can you tell me what it was about yeah but be ready you won't like it he uh -oh. said it seems you've learned a lot about the hospital recently but you don't need to get involved uh oh if you consider yourself a part of the ichijo family then keep your mouth shut He's clearly threatening me. Yeah. I was shocked. But beyond that, I'm just so frustrated. We worked hard to uncover the government's secret, but they're still able to get away with it. They managed to expose so much to the public. But the top brass are trying to save themselves by eliminating the evidence. They can't go unpunished for what they did. Isn't there anything we can do? Barry, are you going to get dread? I mean, no matter what they did, they're still your family. Isn't this hard for you? I'm fine. It doesn't matter if they're family. Remember what I told you before? We've seen so many bad parts of the OSF. What my uncle did was unforgivable. Nice. 
I can't look the other way if I'm going to be able to stand Too poor. properly as a member no, I get of the OSF. It. Then let's think together I haven't, how we can go after the chairman's crimes. I haven't been buying a lot of video games unless they're on sale. Irrefutable evidence that my uncle but I wanted to buy Dread. To that research. Will I dread yeah. the decision? Probably. That data isn't going to be something we can easily access. If there's any evidence left, it would need to be somewhere secret. Oh, like the old OSF hospital. That seems possible. There are others there, so maybe they think nobody would go investigate it. Let's check it out together. You'll come too? I'm happy to hear you say that, but... Come on. But... I said I'd help you any way I could. Thanks. Let's go together then. I watched some My Hero Academia today. Some of season five. Good stuff. More revealed about one for all. I'm not gonna spoil it, but coming here, it can't really cool. help but think about all the people who died because of those experiments. We'll do this together. Yeah. Makes me sick when they think that our families were involved. I don't sense anyone here. Was it closed off? It seems like the others have been left alone. Is there any evidence left? Yes! Did it have to be in the basement? Let's be careful. Oh shit, I can make the good, the good team. Yes. Here it is, boys. This is, how you, this is how you kick everyone's ass with this combo. Let's go. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Be like all of them. Well, Barry, I'm, I'm really going to try to get a job at uh, Intel. I'm going to try to apply. Because the company I work for right now sucks. And there's a lot of people leaving. A whole lot. I'm excited to do that. And then I can make bank, maybe. Huh, huh, huh.
Internet's not working. Okay, sorry. Look, someone's being attacked by others. Could it be a researcher? We can worry about that later. Maybe it's your uncle. First. You're right. Let's hurry. Maybe she's your uncle. Damn it! There's too many of them. Defeating them would be hard enough. But I'm worried I'm going to hurt her trying to protect her. What are we going to do? Can you create a wall of fire All right. her to keep the Good noodle there, Barry. If I do that, the woman would get burned too. Keep the intensity down and have it pointing towards the outside. That should keep her safe in the center. On paper, sure, but my power is hard to control. I'm not sure I can do it. But if we don't do something, watch out! <laughs> oh, what? Oh no, the octopus creature. You can do it. I just need you to hold it for a short time while I draw the others away. Okay, I'll try. Oh, that's a cute little popkin. That's cute. He, he changes his avatars for for little Fire, do what I say. <sighs> for the se seasons. Great job. Keep it up. Now I can take care of these guys. Did, did it work? Right. Now's my chance. Are you all right? Come this way. Come this way. I thought I was dead. Not yet. Can you still fight? Yeah, I'm still good. Now to unleash everything I have. Well, I might need to reverse this. Uh... It's this thing now, I think it's ran its course the direction it was in. My tennis elbow sleep. Why do I wear this? Because I'm old. But also my muscles are so strong that they're, they're trying to burst out of my skin. So I have to keep them contained. It's kinda that's kinda how it works. Oh that's a good oh. Mm. Uh. All right, that's it. I really need to increase my uh my level of mom. Then she'll duplicate. You should be able to break the outer shell and keep attacking. We've successfully breached shell. Attack now. Duplicate my attacks and stuff. I have to. Now die. Oh, even more, huh? I'll buy you a soda later. Wouldn't that be cool? all of them yeah thank goodness you came up with that fire idea sorry I put you on the spot but I couldn't have protected her without you oh right where's the woman we saved 
Um, first, let me thank you for saving me. Please. We only did our jobs as members of the OSF. So you're with the OSF like I thought. Why did you come here? Was it to arrest me? Oh, sick, yeah. No, we mean oh. you no harm. Wait, are you Yuito Sumaragi, the traitor? Uh huh. I guess that means you're not with the government. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'll trust you. Either way, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get out of here on my own. Can we ask what you came here to do? Are you a researcher here? Yes. I've personally conducted many inhumane experiments here. <laughs> oh, good. But I just couldn't go on with it anymore. Doing those terrible things to innocent people. The guilt kept me awake at night. Then I saw that broadcast and thought it was my chance to atone for what I did. Do you mean the video of Kaito we sent out from Arahabaki? You did that? Then I need to thank you again. That broadcast helped me make up my mind. I need to reveal the truth and have everyone, including myself, receive the proper punishment we deserve. And it seems like we're here for the same reasons. What do you mean? We came here looking for evidence against the people running the hospital. We thought there must be some here. I see. Then I guess we're both lucky. I just retrieved some data from a locked terminal in the back. It lists who was directing the research and for what reasons. It even has signatures with their names. If we can make these public, even the higher ups won't be able to make excuses. Uh oh. That means we'll achieve our objective if we safely escort her back to the city. Yeah. I can't believe you snuck in here by yourself when the place is crawling with others. There's a passageway just for the researchers to avoid the others. It was blocked halfway through, so I had no choice. I was really scared. Well, you're safe now. We'll protect you. I'm playing Azure Lane at the same time because I, I want to get... I'm trying to get this really good meta ship and fully upgrade it. But that... That requires me to uh, find these stupid coordinate things. And that's a. Uh, there's a bit of RNG involved in that. I can make my own way back from here. Thank you for escorting me this far. I gotta find 10 of them. It was our pleasure. I feel so relieved to learn there was someone in that hospital with a conscience. And you both gave me hope. A chance to right my mistakes. How do you plan to release the information you found? I plan to take it to the press first. But I'm not sure if there's any organization that's not in bed with the government. If there's not, then I'll think of something else. Okay, good luck. Why don't you just yes. release it? <laughs> Thank you. You look relieved. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to understand what Gemma said the other day. You mean about a reason to fight? Uh-huh. But maybe fighting isn't the only thing I want to do. So right now I have five out of the ten things. I thought things. my pyrokinesis was only good for burning my enemies. But now I see I can use it to protect someone too. I feel like there's something there. I mean, I'm still working it out. So I'll have to give it some more thought. I'm glad you seem to be onto something. I hope my idea helped. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks. Well, let's head back to the hideout. Uh oh. My lad's got a fight. Fight though. I auto it most of the time, but I do have to direct where my fleet goes. I do have to tell them, go over here now. They really added a lot of stuff to this game recently. You're flushed. Do you have a fever? What? N no. I was just admiring. Admiring what? Oh, uh, 
like you and everyone else. I was hoping I'll always be with all of you. Uh huh. Sure you were. I feel like you really trust me. I don't know the citizens. Maybe they they felt real hurt by the message that we sent out. We don't have to worry about it though. Found what you asked me for. They're saying that Nagi died in combat against others. Good work today. I want to do more research on my powers. Of course. I trust you the most. He's cute. Look at all this. This is fun. Mom! Hey, Yuito. Our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? A uh, charm? Yeah, I love oh, it. You don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. Yeah, I love charm. You mean, oh, you mean like Charmed? The show? Like on DVD? I feel like I know you a little better now. You see, kids, DVDs are like micro SDs for your phone, but instead they're really big and they play movies or music. We still have a long way to go though. Stop doing no, no, we I want to talk to her. I think we'll get along fine. I have to give her a first aid kit. Thank you. Moms always need first aid kits because kids are always exploding and they hate it. When us adults explode, we're like, ah, whatever. Didn't I Piss on it. To talk to Gemma about? Sturdy pot and ladle. Here you go, mom. I gained control of the sector. This is nice. Time to go back to the sector. All right, so she has her stuff. Is she cooking now? Look at her. Mom, I don't, that doesn't, that doesn't look like it's good, Mom. It's, it's black. Well, it sounds like a black bean or something. Also, you have two ladles. Why do you have two ladles? No, whatever, don't worry about it. Wait, is that Kasane? Eh. I don't know if she could play tennis. Look at her go. Nice. All right, sure. You're strange. Huh? What is? Your existence. <laughs> At first, you seem like someone trivial. Someone who would be neither useful nor harmful. But you're just a good person. A quality I've learned to not dislike. Good. The Kasane team seems like such like assholes in this playthrough. I'm a little curious about you. What? I see. Um, thanks? Nice. 
nice. Nice, I've got 8 out of 10. Here's the deal, too. If I don't use all of them, they reset at midnight. And I can only use them when I get 100. How shitty is that? we can talk for a minute, Kasane? Sure. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> She's just as blunt as always. You know, I actually kind of miss that about her. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh, actually... It wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone. But the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. Alright, I accept your thanks. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean its fate. <laughs> like strength. You can Red go lines. ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah. I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us. But we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. I haven't told you yet, have I? That my sister Naomi is dead. What? She... What happened? She saved me when we were fighting Togetsu. She always saved me. Every time, right to the end. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been there to help. I didn't know when... It's nothing for you to worry about. I just thought of it while we were talking. The fact that I'm here and fighting alongside you is thanks to her. It is? My first impression of you was, he's not worth my time. If my sister didn't focus on you, I probably would have forgotten all about you the next day. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty bad impression. What do you mean by Naomi focusing on me? Well, my sister... she really liked you. Oh. I'm flattered. I wish I had gotten to know her better. I'm sure knowing that would have made her really happy. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use Brain Talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. 
Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, I think this was me too. This seemed like the same Tommy conversation. And I really haven't changed all that much. But now we can tell each other what we really think. It seemed like the same conversation, but we got a tiny bit of Yubito brain hey, insight. I take back what I said. Arashi told me that calling someone a good person isn't always a compliment. Hmm. I think it's usually used as a compliment. Well, at least that's how I interpreted it. Oh, that's good then. Words are complicated. Thank you for taking mine at face value. You're welcome. I think I understand you a little better now. Really? I'm happy to hear you say that. When you put the ampule into Baki, you look like you were used to that kind of thing. Are you good at sewing or anything else? You cook for me? I have a pretty refined palate. That's what I always tell the ladies. My palates were fine. There's so much going on. Mom's doing yoga. Fucking shitter. Hold on. I gotta... I can't look at shitter anymore without barfing. Alright, this lad. What do I put on him? Sure. That kind of looks cool on him, especially with that jacket. Feather cape always looks real good. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put the feather cape. The feather cape just looks good. Like it's just it's just good. Mom! You need cat ears again. Yep, you bet. Feather cape, because it looks good. And the foot guards. Yeah! Cute. I'm not really sure this is me. Alright, uh, you. You're gonna have to wear... You're going to put on some cyber goggles. I do like you with those. Because I think they complement that head thing. And then you are putting on you. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hold on. I need to buy a thing for him. Uh, exchange visuals. We need like the Baki mask or whatever. A khaki Baki visor. Right? Like there's no other. Is 
No, oh, Brown. He's, he's, he's a piece of shit. Oh, shit. That doesn't go in front. Oh. Alright, screw that. Tinfoil hat. Gas mask. And then the sunglasses. Where the, where's the sunglasses? There we go. Let's just censor that, that face. Give her cat ears. A cute little feathery foot guard. And we'll, we'll give her a little baki. There we go. Looking good. You're looking cute. Yep. Where's Arashi? Arashi? Perfect. <laughs> she loves it. I mean, have I given you... No. A foliage plant. Oh my, everyone came in and killed this thing for me. Already. Really? I'm so happy. Data sync, collect all. Hell yeah. Seventy percent fortification. I'm sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Yeah, sure. Did I do something? Good shit. I mean, you're pretty observant. Well, you always take care of me and the others, right? You should take care of yourself, too. I'm worried you might dry out. Ah, my dry out. Oh, drop rate increases when you level her up or whatever. That's great. I know how you feel, even if you don't say much. I know how you... Oh, I feel... I feel you feel... I know how somebody feels. Look at him up there. Just hanging out on a mountain of shit. Thank you. Got him out already. You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. Guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. 
So keep doing it. Though I don't plan on taking care of you. Very intriguing. You look like Chief Kaito. What? No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the chief anyway. Already, huh? Hmm. I think I have a better understanding of the way. Neat, I don't care. You have a good eye. Eye. If I was a pirate, I would have good eye eye. But only one eye, actually, because I have an eye patch. But don't worry about that. Is that it? No, I need this. Why does she... Oh, that's why she's got these, these wood carvings. I get it now. Look at this. Oh, you fucked it up. Alright. So I've, I've done those people. Um, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Those people are done. Oh, he's doing the roller. Yeah, pump it up. I see the boys are in here. Duito, you working hard today too? Huh? Well, I, I guess so. I'm <laughs> working harder, hardly working on my right moves. Yeah, I got a thing. Here you go. I have some rare vintage alcohol. Good taste. Good to taste. Omoraisu? Are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes. Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. Was that Kagero's voice? That sounded like Yuito's voice. I think we make a pretty good team. Hmm. I guess so. What? I'm gonna clip that and like listen to it later. Cause God, that was weird. All right, Dad, turn. Dad, get over here. Shouldn't you have alcohol or something? Aren't you a drunk? Okay, I've given everyone everything. 
So now I just have to do the bond episodes with them. Which I believe is only dad. Gemma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring. So I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. How's <laughs> the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait, what? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's he says see. he lives in my house. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctors. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Are they getting the vaccine? Don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say. Nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing i'd like to say it's only a guess but going by the osf hospital's previous then we Oops. should get on this now they're being used in human experiments we need to save them right away data huh the data lists them being admitted to the new osf hospital building but maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation that's possible but there's actually something else suspicious i found I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. Let's go beat him up. These later Bond episodes are like, hey, we're going to, we have to go to a level and fight dudes. It's kind of neat. Like, it's not that much of extra, like, unique gameplay, but it's a nice little side mission, at the very least. I've got good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP. Masaki is that guy from Samurai Buyer that was like... Weird. That kind of like faked that he was... A Japanese man that can't understand English very well. So it was a weird situation. There's like, if there's a right opinion about it.
Build a build a build a build. I have noticed less crash. Like it hasn't crashed since that update. What is it doing? Stop there. They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags, but they're floating. Any patience? So it was a garbage truck. Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Oh my God! Maybe they're their contents gross. after they leave. Good. Maybe they're body parts. Bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag. But why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Bad dog. Gemma! Damn it. I guess we're doing this. You're a weird dog, but that bad dog. We can't leave. Thank you. I'm using this R -S -S Sorry. Seems like I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Oh boy. And those bags are. Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already. Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. Yeah, bro, your brain, your friend's like brains in a bag. You didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. Look, we're all friends. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner. It's okay. 
Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me, awkward and earnest. <laughs> Isaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. Gamma, you knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Saki. Is he crying? <laughs> Sorry. We should go back to the Haida. Okay. P poor dude. Yuito, will you train with me later? I work harder when someone is with me. Sure. Oh, but take it easy on me. You train pretty hard. Got it. I'll be careful. I mean, I'm not going to try and crush you with weights or anything. I'm devoting myself to becoming your shield. That's what I think is most important right now. I'm not going to like crush you with weights, or I'm not... I'm not gonna like throw a whole bunch of like knives at you and make you dodge them like like some kind of <laughs> that'd be Whatever crazy. You think is right, Yuito. Thanks. I don't have to second guess anything when you're with me. I'm not gonna like strap you to a chair or anything and like like have various cups of liquid and make you guess which one has poison in it and then have you drink it. <laughs> that'd be silly. Okay, well, that's that's weirdly specific. Yas, here we go. We're doing more. Oh, we're out for a cup of coffee. No, no. Cool then, why would you do that? Now when you're going out on a date with dad. Look at him. I'm glad I decked out her though. This is my favorite, look at this. She has a picture of her on her chest. That's fun. Uh, cool name our Everyone, pads combined again. And Seems now like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. All of our stuff's here from all the stuff Yuito gave him and all the stuff that everyone else gave him. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? Babe. The red strings research, execution Yeah, yeah, you give him plan, different gifts. That's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans. All right. You're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have. So I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you. But if there's anything I can do, let me know. 
Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician, though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Is that my Baki? Kabuki, don't get yourself into trouble. Oh, no, that's Kasane's Baki. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Kabuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? What? Uh -oh. Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito. Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone. There's something I have to tell you. You too, uh -oh. Kasane. This is about Kagura, right? We should listen. Yeah, this is kind of brutal, actually. But now here's the Yuito perspective. Kagura wants to talk. I bet it's about... No. I think it's best to wait until I hear him out first. Where's Kagura? I guess I'll check up top. God, fucking leave me alone! Come out! We're almost done with Scarlet Nexus. We're in chapter 10 of 12. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play Metroid Dread. Cut the sound off. Fuck him, come on. I don't have any powers. The oil is making me sluggish. I'm like slug. Kind of. One might say sluggish.
We're just gonna go in here. Walking around like he has to pee real bad. So, you came. Hello. Sorry for bringing you out here. Awkward. What did you want to tell me? It's about your father, Chairman Joe Sumeragi. <gasps> you know that Kasane didn't kill him. I was the one who killed the chairman. It was you? That's right. I killed him. I'm sorry I didn't tell you until now. Why? Why would you do that? How could you kill my father? <sighs> Answer me! I had no hatred for the chairman. It was for myself. I guess self-defense is a better word for it. I mean, my power is perfect for assassination. I'm sort of in charge of that kind of work. Stop it! Tell me everything. What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you because I feel bad. I know you can't forgive me, of course. So, what do you want me to do? If you tell me to leave, I'll go. So that's how you want to do this? Yes, it is. That's the kind of guy I am, after all. Fine. You have your ways of doing things, and I have mine. <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. You don't really want to do this now, do you, kid? Do you really want to fight? Fight me, Kagero. Don't think I'm playing around. I'll fucking murder you. That's how you want it, and I won't hold back. Good. Show me what you got. Get ready. How did I find him? What? Damn it. Give him a kiss. Probably will. You killed my father. Time for a kiss. Oh, look at that. We both went in brain mode. Oh, Yuito's not very happy. How? How are you stronger? You'll pay for what you did. You have got to be kidding me. Can't go out like this. Time out, Yurito. Okay. I don't look good. I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the two thousand years of things I did for her will all be for nothing. <laughs> About time you told me the truth, Kagro. <laughs> What? You... you knew? I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth if I didn't do this. And I did actually want to beat you up. 
<laughs> you serious? Why do I look dumb right now? Got him. Tell me the truth now, won't you? Yeah. Yuito, Kagero. Did we interrupt you? Kagero, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. Why is he wearing his normal clothes? He's... Did everyone hear that? I gave him white my clothes. father. Yeah, Kasane told us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dealing with. Plus, yeah. I guess so. So I'm sorry I wanted to do it. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Ceylon government. Seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left I'm on pregnant. the moon. A it's wife a girl. and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't Your family the case. was so good, why don't you I have a family too? I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment. To sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when tell Yakumo us, Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations, into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. 
The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. Complicated. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because <laughs> oh, of that. Geez, darn. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. <laughs> Let me help you stop Togetsu. God, I saw it. Buds. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So you don't have to All these people just wanted to kill each other yeah. all the time. Okay. That's enough talk for now then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous, but I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. <sighs> that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru? Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. Okay, we need to up people's like like towards us, so we gotta we'll put Mon in there because she's level two. That's real bad. And Shitter, Shitter's also level two. And as much as I hate him, it'd be nice if he was higher. Okay. Cool name. You, you want to see it? You want to see the hideout real quick? Here you go. With everyone's shit? It's not all the shit you can get yet. But it's close.
Look at this. Oh, Kasane's throwing her shit. Look at this. Let's see. Nice. Dad's popping up. Oh, she put her thing. No, no, because no, because when you play as Yuito, you have more um, stuff, right? And I haven't got to the end of this playthrough yet. So, you see, he's got a lot more things. Like, there's just so much stuff in here. This seems pretty barren over here on mom's little corner. But I, I'm not sure if I did have everything, if I'm honest. But look how many plants she has. Because there's like a bunch of fishing poles, like a bunch of alcohol that I can translate. Look, mom's cooking. Cook blast, look at that. kind of neat yeah she's got a lot of plants she loves plants like it's just cool there's just so much stuff and so much personality it's fun Enjoy the burp. Burp, burp, burp. Enjoy the burp. Burp, burp, burp. Love to use SAS to chuck, but there's like no, it's all L2 stuff around here. Got that, babe. Fucking <laughs> 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 launched him. You guys haven't doppled since I've like they forgot how to doppel.
Finish this, Yuito. Let's back up a little bit. Let's go for a little bit. Let's go over here. Can we stop? Watch out for electric effects. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Yeah, yeah, let me know all the effects of electric. I like the fucking music changing broke. speed. Let's go, everyone. You know, Mountain is like a really rough place. Good job, everyone. If I never see ice or clouds again, I don't like the cold. So if I was with you, I'd probably freeze after about three steps. Man, when people are like, oh, God, I love. God, I would I would love to be in snow. Snow is amazing, you know, the people that don't live near snow. I'm like Yeah, but you, you say that. But once you've lived in snow for a while, you're just kinda like Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I've seen it. Boy, I can't work to dr I can't wait to drive to work and all this fucking bullshit snow we're almost to togetsu kagero are you ready an earthquake it's shaking it's similar to the big earthquake at kunat highway <laughs> she's got the dumb sign with herself on it i think it's over is everyone okay Mama just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunad Gate. Uh, hey! Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. <laughs> However, the pictures of him making out with guy and then blackmail. There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. This whole crowd, everyone looking at Yui, yes, it reminds me true. of a meme where it's like... However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. They say one in ten people are I gay. I also used to be a dud. So and then everyone... Different from a normal human brain all too. nine of those characters are like, well, we're, we're, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, I'm not what? gay. And then they turn to Yui, so like... You a dud? Oh, right. Huh? <laughs> I didn't tell you guys yet. Why is she... Because that's it. I put it on her. It's an ad you for her. On her. When you were a kid. I 
can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden. But there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad yeah. you said something. Most of the team looks like a bunch of assholes. Okay. Luca's got two anyway, pairs of glasses. We should start watching our surroundings. She didn't no just a fuck. <laughs> Time to turn invisible. You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. Oh, I could see the their eyeballs in the back of their head. That was good. Yeah, haha, what was that? What'd you post? Yeah, yeah, yep, that one. Yeah, like that one. Uh, there's there's a speed racer one. Oh, man, I don't know if I can find it. It's on my computer. It's like really old. See, I'm gonna do one search, one more search for it. I went to images. Uh, yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, I had I had one on my computer. See, there was a time, believe it or not. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Miko? Stop. I'm curious about what uh, Kagura said. Are you really feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, there, there was a time in my life where I was... So we just have to see what happens. A bit okay. less PC, just don't as it push were. Yourself too hard. I was so anti-PC that I was like... I would say the offensive stuff and not care. And I'm still kind of like that, but there's, you know, there's there's some things that I'm just like, man, there's no point in saying that if I'm just going to piss people off, right? Whatever. I still don't like the concept of people banning sounds coming out of your mouth. It's tough to keep this up with this under any people. context. But anyway, there's not much security inside. So just back like in those thought. days, I All had right. that meme. We'll go straight to like bathe. Back when I was like 20. Look out! Ten years ago. Damn. Shit, damn. Here they come. Jogetsu design children. <sighs> Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout. Ooh, I, I did organize my pictures, though. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to Babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why so don't we just take the risk? Here. I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it. Here we go. Uh, I can't remember 
really seen. It could be that one. Could be in funny. <laughs> Sometimes separating funny and mean. Babe. We have made it to Babe. This is the entrance to Babe. This is Good. story of a what? girl. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No, I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh. Others. Why? I swear I had to say, maybe it's Watch lost out. to the annals of time. Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take them out. Did you know there's more party Come members than your party? I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Ow. Others around us. This is bad. I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo. Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. Got the others were bigger. born here. By placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. Let's just keep on going as I click through these pictures. We'll keep on going for a little bit more. Just to... Wait, is that it? Yep. There it is. Oh. Yeah, there's pro. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna post it. All those cubes lined up in front of Babe's computer network? Yeah, it's on the level of our Habaki and Suo. It uses, it uses the really rude term for gay people. The bad one. It'll work. You'd like to see it? Picture what it uh, let's see. Uh, five four. Uh, I've got like a bunch of these pictures, you know, like basically archived from back in the day. There it is. Oh, there's my chest.
There you go. Yeah, my my stance again on the like those words is like if you're fucking using it as a joke. It's a joke. Like I don't give a shit. You know? I know other people would disagree, but like Like guys. Using that word doesn't mean I hate people. Like of that thing. It just it just my brain like the whole A lot of times the harshness of the word is part of the joke of like that's fucking that word's terrible. You know, like that's the point. Do I need it in my life? Do I need to use it? No. I just find it really silly that uh, they've banned the word from like ever being uttered. Get my lovers to call me that? Dude, actually. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that are in the group that use that word on each other. Funny, only lovers call me that? That's funny. But yeah, there's people that are, like, in the group that call each other that, and then they get mad with somebody outside the group calls anybody that. It's like, but hold on. Come on now. Like, I'm a nerd. Like, imagine nerd was still as derogatory as it used to be. Back in, like, the 90s. Back before you were alive, Jordan, probably. But like... Like, nerd. If people called you a nerd in the 90s, it would be like, Oh my god, that's terrible. But like, I call other people nerds all the time. Like, ah, what a nerd. Even though I'm, like, the biggest nerd ever. And then imagine, though, if somebody called me a nerd, and I was like, hey, wait a minute. Now die. This, Can't be used. Exactly. Like, it's just, like I said, banning those type of words in all instances. You know, there was, like, a news reporter the once that, like, said the N-word. They fucking they were quoting somebody they're like hey they said this and they were like you can't use that word ever because you're white it's like, I'm just quoting somebody though I'm not I'm not even using it I'm just reporting the news I'm just saying the thing that they said and they're like no nah, no nah, no nah, you can't that word has history. It's like, I, I can't. Sure, but like, everything has history. Come on now. When it gets that extreme, I don't want to. Are you not allowed to say his name or something? Or else... But... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know part... Parter. Harry Potter.
Yeah, in, in the Harry Potter books, if you say his name, people gasp and back away in fear. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, but in this instance, everyone gasps, backs away in fear, and then tries to get you fired from your job. I could probably get to the end of Bane fairly quickly. Bane does actually take a while, but... Okay. So what's going on with my... SAS? Why is this not this? No need to ask. I'm glad the world I feel that the world is less reactionary to that petty stuff these days. You I think part it. of that is because we've got a lot more shit to worry about. I'm glad the bants from Shiden are the same playing as this character because I'm glad he's not like, but you're, you're ugly. Like what he was doing earlier. It's like, dude, calm down. short version which I find less harsh than yeah but I mean the the long version like I think the way that the syllables are laid out really make it sound you know, really harsh yeah. he tells Arish he's gonna fire a soda later Yeah, I think it's got that like it's kind of like fuck, right? It's kind of got that like uh and that quick ending to it that makes it sound really you can do it. It's like abrupt and harsh. Target the other fucker? Like, please. I used to say the shortened version. Um, just because I thought it sounded funny. Again. So the shortened version. 
There was a girl at my work that used to say bag, bag. And so I would goofingly say that word, that offensive word, like bag. And again, it, it was never, like, it was literally never towards gay people. Like, it was just a word. It was just like... Ugh. You got the hang of this. As far as I know, like... You know, when I first learned about gay people back when I was probably in junior high or some shit, right? I think there was a time where I was like, whoa, that's weird, ill, but and then you can do it. I pretty quickly got out of that stage, as far as I understand. Because at some point in my life, when I like started to th really think about like my actions and stuff like that, it was back in fucking junior high and high school. I wasn't thinking about my actions very much. I was just I was just memeing, you know, I was just goofing off. I didn't care. I started started thinking about my actions and stuff. And then I heard that there's people that it's locked and won't open. that like hate gay How people. Seems like your knowledge I was just like, power is quite shallow. Destroy the control mm -hmm. device. You can do it. Use electrokinesis to. I don't. I don't hate gay people. I was like, I don't. I don't know any as far as you know, as far as I knew, right? I was like, but I don't. Why would I hate them? Like, I don't think they're. I don't think anyone's lesser than me or whatever, right? Oh my God, this prompt's gonna stay up on my screen because I didn't use it. Okay, thank God. I didn't use it on the point because I could just use teleportation. It ended pretty quickly, yeah. And I mean, I couldn't tell you exactly when it ended. Right. It was, you know, it's the same thing with like, you know, with like black people, right? Like, I don't. At some point, I had to ask myself the question: I was like, do I, do I have anything against that group of people or whatever? I'm like, no. <laughs> Why would I? I was, I, I'm very much, I was very much pretty quickly of the, like, I, I will judge you by the way that you act, you know, and I don't know how somebody's going to act until I meet them. And if I'm honest, I'm like terrified slash shy of anybody any stranger uh, d get away from me like you are you are scary and whatever until proven otherwise i don't care who you are whenever whenever anybody comes up to me when I'm in public and says, um, excuse me, I'm instantly like, oh god, no, I'm scary. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, no, the nice thing about stream is I don't feel that way as much because I don't have to look at anyone's faces and I know people are coming here to watch me play video games. And so that like makes it easier now. It's not like some random person. You can't like you can't hurt me. You know what I mean? Except for in like certain internet-y ways or whatever. And I try to block people from knowing that information so they can't hurt me. Right. Especially with a B. I'm scared of bees. I'm not scared of bees. Can 
you believe me, the guy who has a bunch of bugs isn't afraid of bees? I'm gonna get to with the shaking butt, because that's a good one. Can we target the right person? Piece of shit. I was stung. What? I was stung by a bee like six years ago. That was the last time I was stung by a bee. And it wasn't that bad. The worst the worst part was like for a couple days after, it was itchy beyond belief. Like the itches were just not good. Look at him, he's, sm he's smacking his butt around, he's jiggling. It's great. Oh yeah, get him, Kyoko. You get hurts, like you're like, oh, owie. That hurt, but like, honestly, my bowels give me worse pain. My liver kills me. This babe section is so long, and it's just like no offense against the babe section, but it's just goddamn block town. Like, why is it so? It's just block town. There's nothing like that special about it. I can't believe this, no way. Absolutely fucked. See, so yeah, like, I, I've never really, like, hated groups of people. Unless they're like a group of people that are just assholes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I'll single people out of like the jerks of blank community. That group is literally defined as being jerks. So like, or I hate internet trolls. You know, like you're like, well, yeah, that's reasonable. I use this. Focus. Now die. No! I've hated a lot of people. People people in general annoy me. But it's because a lot of people are really stupid. And that's why I've kept streaming, is because the people I meet on stream are like, I can control. they're neat. You know, there's some jerks that you meet, or some people that you're just like, oh, no, fuck. I don't know about this guy. I'll buy you a soda later. We got this. I'm counting on you. God, I really need to get that hyper velocity up. Jerks on the internet, the the ragers, the people who are big dicks. You're only a tiny dick, remember? That's why you don't want to get it extended. This babe section isn't that long, right? Isn't that crazy? Oh, you did it! Plus, if I want to get down with the 
Oh, you got a micro, exactly. You're a micro troll. I use this. Nice. It's burning. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Woo. It was like a, I was telling a story once in high school, right? So this was like 2008. And I was telling this story that I saw. I was like, huh, I was at a gas station. And I saw this Mexican guy walk, like, drive up to the, to the gas tank with his truck, pull up. And, uh... He realized that his tank was on the wrong side of the car. And so he gets back in his car, drives around to the pump on the other side. But he was still on the wrong side. I was like, it was funny. And so these one, like, more hippy-dippy type that I would hang out with. I guess you could call them hippy dippy. I don't know how to describe them. Dude. That's just like the quickest way I can describe that person. They said, uh, why did you have to specify in the story that it was a Mexican guy? Do you have something against Mexicans? I was like, let's do this, I didn't have to specify it was a truck either, did I? He's really good at it. Did she fall off like the edge there? I was like, I'm not... I'm not dealing with this, like... How dare you, you offended me with this crap. I was like, I'm just, I'm just trying to be descriptive here. I'm painting a little bit of a control. picture. I didn't have to say he was a guy. Like, what? Uh, come on now. And now, these days, I try not to specify anyone's ethnicity in stories because I realize that, like, People are potentially going to take that as a... I'm like, ha ha ha, look at this group of people being stupid. You know, I fucking don't. No way. Like, and with, again, with gender, right? Like, I'll just assume the person's gender and say it for the story because I don't fucking know the person. And at the end of the day, I just want to say the story real quick and get it over with and not have to, like... <laughs> specify anything. I'm just getting through the story quickly. Just, just let me say the story. Like, <laughs> like Shadow will kind of do that, right? Like, because we've kind of taught her that, like, well, you don't necessarily know the gender of the person or, you know, this... This thing isn't gender specific, right? We have we've been teaching her that. But then she'll say stuff like I'll be like, Oh yeah, there's this lady driving and blah 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 and she'll be like She'll be like, Well how do you know it was a lady? And like I mean I'm just saying that she's a lady because she had short hair. Like I'm I'm like bitching about this person like making a stupid driving decision. Right? She's like, Well how do you know it's a lady? I'm like, well, I am just saying that she had the person had long hair. Well, guys can have long hair. I'm like, look, yeah. I, at the end of the day, I don't give a shit what the person's gender is. All right, like this person like cut me off in traffic, and I'm mad at them. That's the point of the story. <laughs> and I just chose, you know, you have long hair. Yeah, we have. Like, 
know plenty of people that that are used to have long hair. I don't care. It's not something that I care about. You know? You did cut me off in traffic, so I'm not I'm not gonna complain. Like the point of the story has nothing to do with her gender. I don't care about the gender. You're overcomplicating the story. I just want a bitch. And my brain is just saying words quickly to get to the point. I'm not trying to think about it. And also, this human that cut me off and made me upset, I don't care if I offend them. If they happen to hear me bitching about them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do I care? It's a lot harder with the gender thing because, you know, our language has pronouns, right? And it's in deep ingrained. And, like, yes, it would be good of me to have default in my vocabulary. That, uh, I just automatically call people they without knowing their gender. But I also don't care about gender, as people probably know. Whoa, this, this, this electricity with this sword is really cool. Like, look, I'm like shooting sword beam. But I'll say these things. And then, you know, Shadow will say some stuff. And be like, yeah. she'll, she'll still, like, not understand, like. She doesn't understand that there are people who identify as not girl or guy. That hasn't quite dawned on her yet. But at their age, you know, people aren't really thinking about it as much yet. So. Those those concepts as children and how we like teach pronouns and stuff to people, it's gonna be really hard. And I think adding more pronouns is, like, overly complicating things. I already think two pronouns is fucking an overcomplification that doesn't need to be in the language. I use this. Let alone ten or whatever the fuck. I, I want efficient. I want efficiency, man. Ow, fucking! Can we calm our asses down? Oh, I hate some of these enemies because of that. First out of your thing. And see, these are the exact viewpoints that might offend somebody so much that they would try to get me fired from a job because. Because I'm not agreeing with the, the narrative that's in the world right now. But I'm also not somebody who agrees with the old narrative either, so, <laughs> you know. Good thing we have a cool name here who can listen to me and go, meh. I'm not going to cancel him. Yet.
Obviously, in my life, I've thought about having long hair. And let me tell you. Were you ranting about me? No! Why? <laughs> oh, this streamer, I can't believe him. Yeah, I thought about lo having long hair and I'm like, I can't. I can't deal with that in the way. I hate having my beard. I hate having my beard too long, right? And like, rather... I would love to not have to deal with my beard for the rest of my life. But I would like to have my beard at a certain length for the rest of my life, if that makes sense. What is this? Uh, where am I? Oh my god, okay. Yes. Okay, this section is like... Okay, got it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, I, I know you're kidding. <laughs> there was this guy that used to be in our uh, Discord who was really he was still he was still in that mentality of like post the offensive stuff, and if you get offended, then. Like, that's your fault. It's stupid. Uh, I'm like, I, I kind of get that mentality. Right? But also, like, I don't want to offend the people that I like, you know? And also, I don't want to cause con. Conflict is like... It's, it's such a hassle, you know? <laughs> like... I don't want to make my friends feel bad, and I don't want the hassle, and so I wouldn't do it. But he would, he would post a lot of stuff in like our offensive channel. It's a lot of it was just like, dude, like what are you? It seemed like very angry stuff. Like, wow, I can't believe these SJWs are the worst. And yada yada yada. I mean, dude, calm, calm down. People don't care as much. Like, it's not. And he did eventually, like. Not only stop posting that stuff, but stop being into that stuff as much. Because it just kind of ran its course. And just... What the? Why, why didn't the, the last hit not hit because the fucking Hort came in and. Blocked it? Damn. Fucking Hort, dude. Stop. Ugh, Horts. And when, like, he would play Rocket League with us sometimes. And, uh, it was a little scary when, when he was in there because he would sometimes say things. He'd be like, dude. You're going. Getting a little too too aggressive here. You're saying the bad. You're saying some bad shit. It's fine though. He didn't. He didn't take it too long. Brain drive. Brain drive. I'm ready. Uh -oh. Zoom. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attack. I guess I'm getting better. Uh huh. Oh, this way. Oh my. 
Oh my, well. Motion yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got some like offensive stuff like in my, like Facebook, for example. Like back in the day, I would say the the offensive words just to, oh yeah, the slab of metal, yeah. Tony Hawk. I'm ready. Big Tony Hawk skateboard. I've, I've said some really bad stuff, and I've saw some of the messages that I screen capped that I thought I was owning those, like, people who get offended, like, ha, I got him. And look back at the screenshots, I'm like, oof. That might be a little too much. I definitely wouldn't do that these days. And if I said that on Facebook these days, some of those words, they probably would have banned me. I got I got a strike on my Facebook for here. Yeah. You know, we we grow as people. Some things just aren't worth it. Sometimes there's no point in being um, rude or saying bad things. What's funny, I got a uh, a ban on my Facebook. Here, I'll show you the, I'll send you the image here. Cool name. You can see how offensive this message is. There you go, I sent it to you. Um, Facebook gave me a thing that said like, you're not allowed to live stream on Facebook for at least 30 days because of this message. They sent it to me in like 2019 and I posted that picture in like 2010. <laughs> we found that this message on your profile or this picture is offensive because of one of these reasons. And the only thing that I could potentially see the reason for was that it was showing, it was depicting like Nazi propaganda and those aren't even Nazis they're they're just they're, I think they're just like regular German sol 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 shoulders they weren't even Nazis I asked a German I was like hey